About five years ago, I bought a Yamaha YZ250 two-stroke. And uh, it has the older style forks, of course, not the triple S KYBs. But it always was always uh, dissatisfied with the suspension. It didn't want to suck up any braking, or not break, yeah, braking bumps, uh, washboard, etc. really harsh. But when you got it on a track, it was amazing. It took the big hits uh, really well jumping and whatnot. However, mostly I ride off-road, so I didn't really care for it. So I bought a used set of WR forks, and then I just took out the uh, shim stack compression valve out of the bottom of it and put it into the, the YZ forks and ran it like that for several years. But I've always wanted to know, or do this comparison of what makes them different. So I watched some suspension tuning videos uh, there's a guy in Salt Lake area, Mr. Def Factor. He shows some uh, suspension tuning, but then you know you can't really ask questions during their videos, and uh, so he has good information. But I always want to see a side-by-side -side comparison. What makes these two things different? So I am going to disassemble both of these and take all the shims out, lay them out, and compare each one. To and measure them all with my caliper, which is, you know, machinist level. But it should give us a rough idea of what is the difference and what you can do to either make your WR force more YZ like or vice versa, or some combination in between. So I'm gonna disassemble them off the video and uh, measure them all up and let you know what I find. Okay, a couple of surprising things here. We start at the top or sort of, and doing them. This is all identical. And that one shim before the piston, which of course, uh, this is the piston. These rebound shims on both the YZ and the WR are the same. The, what surprised me was this. The WR has six more 24 millimeter shims than the YZ, but the YZs are thicker. WRs are 0.12 millimeter. And the YZs are 0.17, which as I understand it, those are the low speed compression. And as we work our way further to the, the end, um, we get to the high speed. This very first shim on the WR is only half the thickness, same size, 18 millimeter, but half it's 0.5 millimeters to the YZs 1.0 millimeters. The next one is essentially the same. It's an 11 millimeter with the quarter millimeter thickness. Then the YZs are just a hair bigger, of course, remember YZs on top. And uh, pretty similar to we get to, but the uh, YZs missing the 14 millimeter shim. And it's still pretty similar in here. WR just having one more, but when we get to the uh, 24s, like I said the, the YZs are thicker, and the WR has more of them. So that is why the WR has a plusher ride and is more absorbent on the small bumps, yet does not take the big hits nearly as well. Hope this helps you. Um, it's got given me a few ideas, but uh, it's pretty tedious. So you have to be a meticulous person to do this. If you're just going to get one bike worked on, it's probably a lot easier just to get the race tech kit or send your stuff off to a suspension shop. But for those who are you know curious, like to know how things work, this is what's inside. Be, make sure when you put the stuff back together that you red lock tight this final nut back onto the thing and peen it over. You don't want these coming loose. This is uh, it's pretty critical on the forks, but on the shock, if you ever do your shock, that could be a matter of life and death if that nut comes off on your shock. Uh, it could really lead to a bad accident. So always red Loctite those and torque them to the proper spec and 
happy tuning.